All right, next up, we've got uh, Western Kentucky, Ohio State. Uh, Buckeyes, 27, 27 and a half point uh, home favorites, uh, 63 and a half, 64 being the uh, total uh, in this game. Uh, of course, it was not pretty for uh, Ohio State's offense against Indiana in their first game. I was not really all that impressed. You know, a lot of not finishing drives, 23 to three. They didn't cover last week against Youngstown State, 44 and a half point favorites against uh, the Penguins, and they only score 35. You know, the offense is, it's going to take time, I think, for them to be at their best, for Kyle McCord, you know, to really hit his stride. Um, you know, and even Travion Anderson, you know, what's concerning to me is 56 rushing yards uh, for him against um, Youngstown State. Now, they did feast on the secondary, 359 passing yards, but the run game's been, it's been hard to get that going in the first two games for Ohio State. They didn't run the football as good as they could have against Indiana. The good news is they've got Egbuka, Emeka Egbuka, Marvin Harrison Jr., two just tremendous uh, receivers, no question. But I ain't laying this many. And Ohio State's got the big matchup with Notre Dame uh, in, in South Bend coming up after this. Uh, and if there's ever a team that's got backdoor cover potential in a point spread range like this where they're getting 27 points, it's Western Kentucky with that great passing game they have. Uh, and Austin Reed, which to me has been uh, very, very impressive here. Uh, early in the season. And if you're actually going to attack one part of this Ohio State uh, defense, you know, it might be the secondary. Now, again, uh, they've, they've been very good as far as against the run early in the season, but that secondary of theirs, there's still some questions. Uh, this is a very good passing game for Western Kentucky. The, the spot for Ohio State with them playing uh, Notre Dame next week, I, have, I'm, I haven't gotten there yet. But I'm telling you what, I do have interest in the Hilltoppers getting this number of points here in Columbus on Saturday night at the shoe. Uh, what do you think here, Connor? Western Kentucky, Ohio State. You know, it might be just too many. Ohio State just hasn't scored. Or, you know, these have been easy wins at Michigan as well. You know, they probably could have scored more. But oh, and two ATS, right. Ohio State. Yep, so far. So was Michigan, right? Did, did UNLV cover that? 35-7? Yeah, I believe they did. Yes. Yeah, I mean they put on cruise control, but they haven't scored a ton. I mean, I think they should have took care of uh, Youngstown, and I think they win here. I just don't want to lay points. I got to see more out of Kyle McCord. But can Reed attack this Ohio State secondary a little bit? Maybe. Uh, so I just don't know if I want them right now. The points in this one. Yeah, Western. You know what I might do? I might split it. If I bet Western here, Western Kentucky, I might split it up with plus the points and the team total. Because the team total, then you have you absolutely have nothing. You don't have to worry about what the defense does for uh, Western Kentucky. Um, so, yeah, to me, this is this is an offensive team that, you know, uh, 41 and 52 points in their first two games. Now, it is concerning that they gave up, you know, 24 points to South Florida, 22 uh, to Houston Christian you know, in their, in their first uh, two games, Western Kentucky. So that's why it's another reason why if I bet Western, I might split it up with the plus the points and the team total, just in case there's some defensive leakage, if you will, for uh, Western Kentucky here in this game. And, and maybe the over two, 63 and a half, 64, but we'll see what the weather's like, but would lean to a full game over possibly here uh, in this game as well. 